A campus area network, or a CAN, a C-A-N, interconnects different buildings on a campus. Not just a university campus, although that's one example, but lots of businesses have uh, large business campuses. If you've ever been to Cisco's headquarters out in San Jose, they have an amazing number of buildings spread across their campus, and a CAN can interconnect those buildings. Let's take a simple example. Let's say that we've got these five different buildings. Let's pretend this is a university campus. What we could do, one option is to have a central hub that everybody points back to and we could interconnect all the buildings back to this one location. And the technology, the media that we might use to interconnect the buildings could be something like fiber optic cabling. That's going to give us the distance that we need. There are different types of fiber optic cabling and often on a CAN, on a campus area network, you might use the less expensive type of fiber optics, the multi-mode fiber optics, which has a distance limitation. It can vary depending on your technology, but about two kilometers as just a, a general rule to think about. A two kilometer distance limitation is probably okay for a campus area network. You probably don't have your buildings separated by more than two kilometers, anyway, nearby buildings that are interconnecting. We could add on to this. We could have some redundancy. We could connect buildings directly to one another, forming what's often referred to as a meshed topology. That way, if one link goes down, let's say we lose this link, we could still get from this building to the other building simply by going through that centralized site. So to sum up some of the characteristics of a campus area network, a campus area network can be high speed. We can have gigabit, 10 gigabit links between these buildings. We're contained within a fairly localized geographical region within a, a campus area nearby buildings, probably using fiber optic cabling. It's probably going to be the multi-mode variety of fiber optic cabling for cost savings. That's as opposed to what we might have in a metropolitan area network. That might be the single mode type of fiber optics, a bit more expensive, gives us a longer distance limitation. But on a campus area network, we probably don't need that. We could, but we probably don't need that. And we could add some redundancy just by interconnecting buildings to one another. That way we could lose one or more of these links. Uh, sometimes it's called backhoe fade. If a backhoe digs up a piece of conduit and cuts the fiber, you still have full connectivity within the buildings, even if we were to lose one or maybe even multiple links in this topology.